All right, Shalom, Makin. It's the brother Ariaga. Um, first and foremost, let's give all praises to the highest honors to y'all by Shem Yaw Shine. Double honors to the brothers, uh, to the apostles of Great Millstone. And to all the brothers out there who do these works of truth and sincerity, Shalom. All right, once again, it's the brother Ariaga coming at you with another um, little story. Something uh, not major. I mean, excuse me, very major. But um, not in particularly new, but um, just found a new article on it. All right, so I'm gonna go straight into that. As you can see, it's a, a chip and a pill, and you know one of the things that they really put out there, this opioids epidemic that's going on right now, is um reliance on these pills. Right. A lot of these people are hooked on these pills. Henceforth, the, the opioid epidemic, which is an um, epidemic to, or a large amount of people, have gone into taking these prescription pills, these opioids or these, these drugs, pills that are made, are manufactured with opium within them from the poppy plant. And this highly addictive nature has caused an epidemic to the point where, you know, they talking about it in the rap videos, or, you know, the different R&B songs, pills and potions, you know, different things like that. Pills and, uh, what they call it? Pills and lean. They call it, um, syrup and pancakes, you know, shit like that. So they made this thing which is all a bunch of sorcery and witchcraft anyway, that made this thing into a trend. And so piggybacking off of that trend, you know, they started implementing a chip on it. Okay. So let's go into that statistic real quick. So we can find that. Let's find some info on that real quick. Let's see. Let me look up how bad is the opioid epidemic real quick. Excuse me. Yeah, because it's pretty bad, man. Like, at this point in time, I know a lot of vets. That, you know, ended up hooked off of that. Off of those opioids getting stuck on this. Painkillers. Because when you get out the military... Your body is dilapidated. It's all messed up. And and the condition that we left in, the first thing that they really give you when you go to these clinics is some pills to kill the pain, antidepressants to kill, you know, the effects of post-traumatic stress disorder or whatever else, you know, memories and some memory suppressants and shit like that. Um... So let's see. This is uh, February 2016. Frontline. How bad is the opioid epidemic? So it says. Get shit out of here. Let's go into the specifics of it nowadays. So it says in 1999. There were more than twice as many motor vehicle deaths as fatal drug overdoses in 2014. Those numbers were, had flipped with almost 40% more deaths from overdoses than car crashes. And in all, 29,230 people died in car accidents in 2014, while 47,055 died from drug overdose. And see, they got the chart right there. So that's a major increase over a span of 14 years it goes from 1500 to 50,000 and that's as of 2014 it says the majority of overdoses now stem from pres prescription opioids and heroin 
according to data from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, because a lot of them turn to doing um, heroin because they can't get their hands on the pills. That wasn't always the case. In 1999, cocaine killed about twice as many people as heroin, 3,822 and 1960 deaths respectively, while opioids killed 4,030. It says by 2014, opioid deaths were up 369%. God damn. While deaths from heroin jumped 439%, according to the CDC. That same year, cocaine deaths dropped down below those caused by benzodiazepines, a class of drug often used in the sleeping pills to combat anxiety. And see, look at the mass increase in opioids. It passed up everybody. That's just in 2014. All right. So you can see the addiction of this demon that the most I have is on these opioids, man. It's heavy. And all they did was take a plant, the poppy plant, and manufacture it and turn it into something that can. Because as you know, just like Esau's offshoot of Jake in a sense of good and evil, you know, yin and yang, however you want to put it. And everything that the Lord gave us to do with these plants that's beneficial and that's positive. These devils have gone back and they have taken that very same plant and turned it into something that's negative because they can make a profit off it. It says, ever since 9-11 terrorist attacks, the powers that be cannot <clears throat> get enough surveillance on us. The latest in their quest for wanting to watch over every move comes in the form of a microchip pills. Not happy enough with monitoring our phone calls, computers, and having a camera on us everywhere we go outside. The recently FDA-approved microchip and a pill will be the perfect excuse to place surveillance inside their bodies. Get this shit out of my way, man. Yes, it's science fiction as an example of the old... old uh, George Lucas film, THX 1138. I got to check that out. Now, turned into science fact. The scientific dic uh, dictatorship is here. Care of the, uh, the surveillance state, folks. Of course, the idea will be presented to us as highly beneficial for our health. Uh, from a health point of view, people can be checked if they, they've taken their pill or not forgotten them or use real time monitoring and maintain for maintaining the right prescribed dosage and many people will buy into it while falling to, uh, failing to see the dark hidden uh, ulterior motive right everything that's transpiring behind these epidemics especially with big pharma is leading to more people to get just getting destroyed a mass death so to speak because they don't understand what their enemy is doing they can't comprehend it alright and we all know what happens when you fail to see what the enemy is doing this is Hosea 4 and 6 my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no more priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Right? And that's the day that we're in right now. I mean, it's always been a continuous thing. Because if you look at it, since our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, in that Gentile mind state, uh, the Most High is rejected. You know, we was once all Gentiles, even those coming that are in the truth at this point in time. It says that thou, that there shall be no priest to me, or that th that thou shall be no priest to me. Um, I will reject thee. The most high rejected two thirds of our people, which is the majority, 
and they cannot be a priest because um, they destroy it for the lack of this knowledge, this word, this truth, you know, these scriptures. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So the Most High forgot about two-thirds of our children in each generation. All right, because we lack the knowledge of this truth. Or, or lack the power and knowledge of, of who we should be worshiping besides sweet baby Ray Jesus. You know? Since we lack that, the Most High has been giving our children up and being forgotten. And that's why they're in the condition that they're in now. All right? Also, let's go to... Um, let's see. Second Corinthians. This is Second Corinthians two and eleven. It says, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right, one of these devices that they have set forth one <coughs> is this opioid epidemic or this dependency on pills, even vitamins. You know, they get you so conditioned to taking these different pills, and it seems like it's a normal thing. So, when they put this on these pills or within these pills, whether you know it or not, because you don't, it don't have to look like that picture. It can easily look like a regular pill, and you just popping in and taking it. They don't have to tell you shit, right? Because you've been so conditioned to take these things, you know? But we're not ignorant of these sort of devices. You don't always do these things outright so you can see and notice them. And by the time we really get wind of these things, he's already been implemented, or um, he's already been putting them into effect long before we even comprehended what was going on by the time we find out about a lot of this stuff they already have it in full full um effect it's just in the shadows because they like to ease it on people and as they ease them into it they find that people become more receptive to it and they have a better chance of them accepting it it says a clue in the hidden agenda comes from the fact that these microchip pills have cost billions to develop, which comes to the point that big government wants to mandate our health. Um, and this is a good little video where you swallow Google's edible microchip. Um, I'm not going to go into that. You can check that out yourself. It's a good video. You know, it's a pretty good and informative video. Um, Former DARPA director and now Google executive Regina Duggan is pushing. Yeah, that's stupid, man. That's another thing. An edible They've been putting um, a lot of these demon bitches up here in positions of high power. Like you have uh, the head of the CIA is coming in. I forgot the bitch's name, but you know she was over there waterboarding the shit out of these cats from Thailand. You know. Waterboarding the shit out of them to the point they just traumatized. One dude, you know, they had at these prisons that they were traumatizing them at over in the Middle East. He can't even take a bath anymore. He can't even take a bath in a bathtub because he said that shit fucked him up so bad. Every time he goes to get in a bathtub, he fucks him up, man. You know, that's like some serious, that's some serious destroying of your mind type shit. All right, and Uncle Esau is guilty of that. It says, without our consent, big government has mandates on our medical insurance and vaccines. As an example of the recently passed SB 277 California vaccination bill, um, the want of surveillance on us through internal microchipping is nothing new. Regina Duggan, a former DARPA director turned Google executive, if you're familiar with DARPA, um, I forgot what DARPA stands for. Let's see. 
Um, but some of the biggest things about DARPA, DARPA is a research company for the military. And what they do is they develop different robots and shit like that. Um, I did a couple videos on them. Matter of fact, I had to do an update video on the most recent technology that they have. But what these devils are doing is basically making, taking different technology, developing it for the military, and giving it the guise of it having some kind of ethical applications to it. Like it's a good thing. When they're actually just making things to destroy the majority of the people, the majority of the population. Let's see. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency is an agency of the United States Department of Defense responsible for the development of emerging technologies for use by the military. So, even that you will see, if um, you do choose to look at the video, and you find out, you know, she was ahead of that at one point in time. And this is something developed by a military company, so it can't be for your well-being, you know. Whether it's protecting the serve, protecting the serve the shit out you. Like, literally. All right. The want of surveillance, um, it says, has been known for some time for wanting us to swallow ID microchips. She has also been pushing for us to have an electronic tattoo capable of mind reading. Those developing it claimed that it would help people with mental problems such as soldiers wanting to have bad memories erased from being on the battlefield, but the consequences of this could also have dark and sinister ulterior motives when using it for mind control. And you know that's always the basis of it. That's the first thing you really got to look at when Esau does something. So-called white man makes something, you got to really question the motive of it. Because even though it has a positive viewpoint, you know what's really behind it because they are the wicked that the Bible speaks of, you know? Continuing on, this in effect turns the persons ingesting these microchips into a biological ID system. This enables them to use their computers, phones, and open the doors of their car, etc. as part of the smart system. But the idea of using these new technologies for the dark and sinister purpose of being tracked and monitored is a violation of our individual liberties and freedom. But of course we know if you have any kind of sense, you know, we don't really have liberties and freedom because we're not free. We are all slaves. All right, we're corporate slaves. Even average Joe six pack Edomite. You're not part of the 1%, you're a corporate slave. And this is their brand on us as slaves and cattle, or goyim, as they consider us. The fact that the related authorities oversee this technology has frequently lied, telling us that they're not interested in snooping on our phone calls, etc. When the opposite has been found is enough to send a red flag warning on microchipping us through pills. Microchipping technology has been years in the making. Uh, GeoSparta Intellectual meta, metadata, <laughs> metadata Collection for over 15 years has been used to map out human behavior for mass surveillance. It should come as a surprise to anyone at the power um, that B have taken this very seriously knowing that they want to use surveillance on a global scale. Right. So let's jump straight into it. Gonna go right to the basics and work all the way down. All right. <sighs> so yeah, man, this is what's really transpiring. I mean, shit. Not like we didn't see it coming. Now I heard about this years ago. You know, but they're really trying to. Re I mean, they're probably already using it. To be honest with you, like I said, they do these things and 
They don't let us know. I mean, they've been cloning animals and shit, and that's been the meat that we've been consuming is majority clone meat. A lot of cats get caught up. It's because they say organic a lot of the times, or majority of the times, it's FDA approved. It's not organic, man. So, you know, it's good to try to get that, but a lot of the times, it's a play on themes and words, man. Shit. You see that, and, and the very thought really gets into your subconscious. You'll taste it and think, like, damn, it do taste better. It do taste, you know, more healthy and shit. And a lot of the times, that's just all the play on the theme. It's like a placebo, you know? That's the thing with all packaged, packaged foods, you know? All chemicals. Oh, well, this is uh, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls both all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And we know that that mark is karagma, which is an incision. Like I said, let's go to the basics, you know. And let's see. Mark, Karagma, a stamp, and imprinted mark. Like I said, they also had the tattoos, so that's another way for them to do it. They can read your emotions and shit like that. So they had those tattoos in, in effect as well. That's an imprinted mark. Of oh, the mark stamps on the forehead or on the right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist, a mark branded upon horses. Things, cars, sculptures, graven work, uh, uh, idolatrous image. It's a lot. All right. So this is what we really dealing with, you know. This is the devices that this devil really has in action. Thing carved and, and printed mark. And some carved into you. You know. Uh, let's go back one more. Hold on. Continue on. And that no man may buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is the wisdom that he that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Right, mark of the beast. Right, that also has something to do with it because, you, especially when you knowingly ingest it, and it has that effect on you, you have to accept the mark. So, a lot of the times, they'll have these different programs set aside to educate you on how the chip works and what it does. And you might even have programs who will knowingly approach you and let you know that the that there's a chip inside that, that pill. Don't take that shit, you know? Because if you're willing to take that, then you're going will, you willing to take the mark of the beast wholly when it comes and they try to put that microchip in your right hand or in your head or in your ass, wherever they put it. You know? Like I'm saying, I'm glad I got out of Uncle Esau's military when I did, too. Like I said, they putting the chips in soldiers' teeth and shit, you know? Under their tongue and shit. Like, you know, that shit is wild. I'm straight. I wasn't going for that shit. No way. And this is uh, Revelation 16 1. I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your way and pour out the vials of the, of the wrath of Yahweh upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noise from a grievous sore. Upon the men which the mark of the beast, and upon that which worshipped his image. Right. So those who had that mark on them, or within them, 
it's gonna be a grievous sore that come on your ass, man. Shit, a cancerous sore because of the RFID waves. They emit radiation. What? What else? You know, ulcers, you know, everything that Esau does and all the pharmaceuticals that he pushes forward, they always have a pros to them because they treat, you know, the different symptoms that you have. But it all comes at a bigger cost. Because in the whole, in the long run, it's destroying you and breaking you down, physically, hell, and mentally. <sighs> what us see. This is Nahum three and four, because the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, that sells nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Why? What's those witchcrafts, man? Pharma. All right. Pharmakia. <laughs> to be exact. You know? That's that's the taking of these different pills. These, these different unnatural confections that they have set aside to manipulate the different natural substances and nature that's originally found in nature just so they can because they're not able to patent a natural herb or a natural substance in, a, in nature so what they do is they go and they um, reverse engineer if you will or make a herb that resembles and takes certain benefits of that uh, that same herb so instead of it giving as to where the herb would give you the complete healing of that thing and cleansing of that ailment or whatever it may be, blessed with the Lord, mind you, um, these petroleum drugs or these imitation herbs as, as what these drugs really are, when you take them, um, they only treat the underlying or they uh, they treat the surface problem and make it seem like everything is getting better. You know, you might start losing the pain in that area or whatever it may have you. And you may think that you're in good condition, but in the end, it's breaking you down in another way because it's, it's a toxin. So it's all the toxins that are still free flowing through your body because your body can't assimilate petroleum. And these drugs are filled with them. These pills. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's go back real quick. Alright, so. So let's read that again, AM three and four, because the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot and the mistress of witchcraft that sells nations through her wisdom or excuse me, her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. All right, and she sells and that's America is the number one producer of these witchcrafts that they push all around the world. The pharmaceutical company. Matter of fact, the highest export of those pills comes from Puerto Rico. I mean, they got a big pharmaceutical plant in Puerto Rico, and that rich port, which is what Puerto Rico stands for, they export a lot of those pills from there, which is actually a state of, or a vassal state of America. Behold, I am against thee, say if you have about Shemi of host, and I would uh, discover thy skirts upon thy face and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. All right. Everybody's starting to see all your plans and your schemes and you know, all your peace treaties and your promises really ain't shit in the long run. All your allies and all these nations is starting to see that shit. Behold I am against thee, says Yahweh by Shimia Shah of Host. And I, um, my bad, three and six, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee, 
to make thee vile, and that will set thee as a gazing star. And that abominable filth is nuclear waste. All right, when most high destroy this place, that nuclear fire, them chariots, man, it's going to be a real thing. It's going to be a beautiful thing. This is Micah 5, and <sighs> let us see. A lot of meat in this. Um, let's start at we can start at Michael five and seven. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people. As the dew from Yahweh by Shemiali Shai, as the showers upon the grass, right? Because our blessing was the dew of heaven. That's the blessing that Jacob received, which means, you know, we're going to pretty much have great numbers. That's why the comparison was made on to the sand of the seas and like the stars in the sky, because we're going to have massive numbers. And tarry not for man, nor waited for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treadeth down and tears in pieces, and none can deliver. Right, because Jake is scattered to the four corners of the globe, and we in the midst of many people. And if you get Jake riled up, we're like a lion, man. And once you get Jake started, it's hard to stop him, man. So both, um, that's why the comparison as a lion among the flocks of sheep, who if you go through both treaders down and tears in pieces and uh, can deliver. For example, um, L.A. riots, man. You can watch riots. Shit was some real stuff, man. I'm from Cali, and I, I was young when that happened, but I remember the benefits and the, con the pros and cons to niggas all around me from that, you know, and seeing their reaction to it. And it was terrifying. Like, a lot of people was terrified when they got Jay started. Started fucking up all kind of shit. Even though, sadly, most of that shit was their own. Five and nine of Micah. Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and thine enemy shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, shall me outside, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy my, thy chariots, and I will cut off all, uh, cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down thy strongholds, and I will cut off witchcrafts, witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. So you're cutting off these witchcrafts out of the hand. All of that is going to be put to an end, because of the, the most high suffer for which to live. I mean, he shall not suffer if a witch live. Okay? Now he's going to go ahead and put that shit to an end. Let's look at this word, soothsayers, real quick. I looked at it earlier. I don't remember what it was. Anon. I-L. To make, appear, produce, bring clouds. To practice soothsaying, conjure. Cause these demons like conjuring up these demons. Uh, these demons like conjuring up these demons. <laughs> Damn, man, these demons like conjuring up these. These demons be conjuring up these demons. Hey, I mean that's that's actually a factual statement. To observe times, practice soothsaying, and spiritual and spiritualism, or magic, or agua or witchcraft. Soothsayer, enchanter, sorcerer, divine, diviner, 
fortune teller, librarian, millennium. Right, that's everything that this country is founded on, really. The practice of soothsaying and spiritualism and you know, magic and witchcraft and shit. Enchanters and sorcerers and diviners and shit. That's all mixed into the foundation of this kingdom. That's why a lot of those people come from other places because they can practice their wickedness freely in this place without, you know, being looked down upon. That's why a lot of those women come from other countries. They bring their asses over here so they can be all the hard that they can be. Hell, in and out the army. Shit. And there's some holes in the army, too. Definitely some holes in that house. Let's see. Jeremiah 3 and 30, and we can start at 4. And these are the words of the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Alright, so the 12 tribes. All you Native American, Latinos, and Negroes. But thus said, Yah, by Shem Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling and fear, not peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Therefore, do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. And you know, there's those contraction and those birth chart, those birth pains a woman go through when she's in labor. All right, you don't see a man in birth pains going through contractions and in labor, man. But that's how it's gonna be in these days to come. Their hands on their loins and their balls, like God. Hey, a man's gonna be acting like a female, a bitch at that time, man. Niggas gonna be looking like some bitches in that time. Because that's why the Lord said knowledge and wisdom and stability of thy, of thy times. Because that's the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures is what's going to help us get through all of that. That faith in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, that name. Jeremiah 30 and 7, the last, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is he? 144,000. All right? And the one-third, part of the one-third, the beginning of the one-third, the head of them, all right, which are those that will be um, joined unto them, over the ones that will be saved out of this place, the ones that call on the name of Yahweh Shai, and know and they, they worship in truth and sincerity, and do the things, and rehearse these righteous acts, and do the things that's required of a servant of him. Um, yeah, so, alas, that there is grace or that none is like it, even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So, this is the time that we're coming into. You know, that day is great. Even the time of Jacob's trouble, man, it's just really something to take in because there's nothing that been seen like this ever in history and this is gonna come in our time when we see how fast everything is moving i mean sh man look that's and it's time to get ready everybody say this is grace we got grace better utilize that grace period because it's about over man when this shit pop off it's gonna be too late time of acquisition is now. It's the time to acquire this is now. Okay. And it's not hard to see. Just look around you. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end it off right there. Um, once again, you know, it's just been another lesson, another late night libation. Hell, it's early morning, whatever, 6.43 as you see. So, uh, Till next time, um, y'all by Shim, y'all shy by Shim, Makak Fadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to all the brothers out there who do this work in truth and sincerity. Sincerity, this is the brother Ayaga. Um, till we come at you again, Anya Abata.
Inshallah.